for millions of small-scale farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. Cereals such as maize, sorghum, millet and rice are the main staple and cash crops. The production of these crops is however constrained by pests, weeds and poor soil fertility. Push-pull technology was developed more than 20 years ago by ESIPE in collaboration with Rothamsted Research, United Kingdom and partners in East Africa to address the key constraints of cereal livestock mixed production systems in Africa. These constraints are insect pests, especially stem borers, the parasitic weed striga and poor soil fertility. The push-pull technology is a farming practice which consists in intercropping maize with a legume fodder called desmodium. Desmodium repels the stem borer and also at the same time suppresses striga through the roots. And then the farming system is surrounded by a border crop called brachiaria or napier grass and these grasses attract normally the pests stem borer pests to come and lay their eggs but they will not emerge because they have the defense mechanism either by producing substances that kill the egg or by calling on the natural enemies to come and uh, destroy the pest. There are also issues pertaining to soil moisture management and the need for high quality animal feed. The push-pull has also other benefits. Other than controlling striga and stambora, the farmer has access to high quality fodder which can help to feed the animal and have access to better milk and better dairy products. In the recent past, push-pull technology has also effectively managed fall armyworm which has been ravaging cereal farms in the continent and beyond. Isipe, in partnership with BioVision Foundation and BioVision Africa Trust, is implementing push-pull technology for Sub-Saharan Africa project which aims to extend push-pull technology beyond East Africa. Through our partners, the technology is able to reach down to the small-scale live cereal livestock uh, farmers, even in the most remote areas in the countries where we work. In late 2017, a team of Rwanda Agriculture Board officials visited Isipe to learn about push-pull technology. This was after a massive fall armyworm outbreak devastated the country. Despite the use of control measures such as hand-picking, pouring sand on the plants and spraying heavy chemicals. A survey mission followed thereafter, where several partners were identified. They included the Rwandan Agriculture Board, the Rwandan Ministry of Agriculture, World Vision, Food for the Hungry, and Senda Cow. Push pull technology, uko ubona abantu bayakira ni kwiza, kuko nkuko nabivuze iragende igahura neza nibyo abahinzi bifuza ndetse banayitegereje ko izaba igisubizo cyo kuba bakoresha ubutaka bwabo butoya neza kandi bakabasha kubonamo ibyo bakeneye byose in terms of agricultural productivity it has been demonstrated that differences up to 500 kg have been recorded between a push pull adopter and a non push pull adopter to date, through the support of our partners, we have established more than 200 demonstration plots spread out across Rwanda in the following districts. Nyagatare, Gasibo, Bugesera, Nyanza, Kayonza, Kirehe, Rwamagana, and Ngoma. We have received tremendous results from the farmers who have adopted the technology. We visited Jean Claude Mpumonje's home in Nyagihanga, Gasibo district. Jean Claude has been a push pull farmer for two seasons. Ubundi twebwe ibintu by'abahinzi birivugira. Eh iyo ugeze ku murima w'ibigori byubu ukageranya n'ibyo twari dufite mbere ibigori bimeze neza aho nakoresheje push pull. Ikindi nkongwa ntabwo nkongwa ikidukanga 
aho nakoresheje push pull nta kibazo ngira cyankongo not only has Pushpul been beneficial in managing stem borers and fall armyworm on his 30 by 20 meters plot, but his livestock has also greatly benefited from the Desimodium and Nepe grass, which he harvests. Since Gene Cloud started feeding these grasses to his cows, his dairy milk production has increased to 15 liters from the initial 5 to 7 liters. We followed him to his farm where we found his workers tending the kettle. Eh wundi mbere inkazi wanje inka yakamwagara itiro hagati ya 5 na 7 ndwi ku munsi. Ariko uyu munsi ubumfite inkebyiri zikamwa imwe ikamwara itiro 15 indi kamwara itiro 12. Kandi mu byukuri nta kindi nazikoreye uretse kuzihindurira igaburo. Nka zigaburira uretse na desmodium mfite na na lesena na kaliandra ibyo byose rero mbivanga n'urubingo nivubwe hanyuma umukamo warazamutse Rachel Owino technology transfer officer at ACP emphasizes that proper farming practices have to be applied to fully enjoy the benefits of push pull technology Basically push pull does not replace proper agronomic practices and if the proper agronomic practices are not followed, then the farmer still does not benefit from the push-pull technology. Early planting, proper manure application, what I would call uh, soil fertility management, gapping, early weeding, and maintaining the field weed-free. ECP's partnership with the Rwanda Agriculture Board and Food for the Hungry has been pivotal in the establishment of push-pull technology in Rwanda. Our partners have a strong presence in their areas of operation and are able to oversee the farmers through well-established channels. They facilitate the training of farmers and also offer guidance through the whole process from land preparation, planting and weeding to harvesting and trimming of desimodium and brachyria. Kirango njya kumenya pushpuru nayikuye muri labo ikigo cyo gushinzwe guteza imbere ubuhinzi n'ubworozi. Ni baba mpaye ubu bumenyi hanyuma bamaze no kumpa ubumenyi bampa n'imbuto mbuto za brachyria ndetse n'izi za desimodium ah banyereka no buryo bwo kubikora hanyuma ntangira kubishyira mu bikorwa mu gushyira mu bikorwa food for the hungry yampuguye guhinga impugura impimbuto desmedium burakaria impani imbuto y'ibigori ikindi yankurikiranye mu bikorwa byose byo guhinga izo mbuto za push pull uh, the, the kind of support we give to the farmers first of all we train them on push pull technology how they apply it and how to prepare a demonstration plot or how to prepare for the planting. And another thing, uh, we, after training them, of course we follow up the process of giving them seeds and we give them seeds for planting. <laughs> The improvement in the livelihoods of the farmers who have adopted the technology is noticeable. Jean Bosco Busohuko, Jenin Tindiwe, and Tassian Gasirikare are model farmers under food for the hungry. The harvests from previous seasons have enabled them to make positive adjustments to their lives and those of their families. <laughs> Narasaruye mbona umusaruro guri yongeye Abana babone igikoma Nange mbona amafaranga kandi n'ikimenye menye nakuyemo kora kaduka numusaruro wari yongeye Bariye naraza irabura ngongwa iragabanyuka Nta kindi kibazo kindi fite kuri kushpora Pushkuru, Yamari Yeneza, Akamaro, Amata, Bisenu Hinzi, 
ubu ngo bube tumeze neza nabana banje tufashe neza na kibazo boje ko rero yatugira akamaro kenshi yatumara akamaro kenshi namafaranga yari yongeye numushari ruri yongera Farmer cooperatives have provided a powerful platform to reach many farmers and disseminate information. Anastase Ntamuhanga and Paskais Uwizeyimana belong to farmer cooperatives in Nyagihanga district. Anastase is the president of Abakuna Kurima Cooperative which has 29 members, 18 of them practicing pushpull. Dufite abajyana amabu buhinzi bashinzwe ubuhinzi abo rero tuba inshingano zabo eh nuko bango dufite abakangura mbaga n'imbura batandatu muri cooperative abo bakangura mbaga batandatu buri mukangura mbaga bafite inshingano ze kandi akagira n'ikiciro cyo kugira ngo ahabwe ahugura abandi kubyo yahuguye nawe ubango rero turi abanyamuryango 29 numwe mu banyamuryango 29 tumaze guhugura abahinzi ijana abahinzi ijana Biyo biyo ngiye kubanya mu byamo 29 ruko bango abantu bamaze guhugurwa ku bya push pull bamaze kuba 129 Ibyo ngibyo tumaze kubikora mu byiciro 10 He has conducted 10 push pull training sessions reaching more than 100 farmers These farmers share the profits from the maize and fodder they sell Nyo bamaze kumenya ibyiza byayo impamvu sheshikariza abanyarwanda kugira ngo bakoreshe push pull Ngiye nzagira uruhare no kubigisha no kugira ngo nawo bitarageraho bizamugereho Some challenges have been encountered alongside the benefits of push pull technology One of them is the scarcity of desimodium seeds To manage this situation in Rwanda Isipe is working with Alexis Business Limited situated in Nyanza district to produce desimodium Alexis Business Business Limited inga imbuto zitandukanye harimo desimodium entertum ngangana avoka abanguriye n'imyembe ibanguriye maze kusarure umurama kice kimwe kijana na SP ikindi gice kijana na boroze push pull technology aligns with the zero grazing agricultural intensification and one family one cow policies in Rwanda after three seasons of implementation, the time is right to scale out push-pull technology to more farmers in Rwanda. With the help of our partners, we believe we can educate more farmers on the technology and its adoption. After successfully piloting the push-pull technology in Rwanda for nearly four seasons, we are now calling upon all partners to join forces to drive the scale out of this technology so that many farmers can adopt it and enjoy the benefits. Eh kubera uburyo bwiza bwa push pull twakoresheje bukabwa tujiriya kamaro nanje wabikoresheje ngambonye aho bungejeje ndashishikariza nabandi batura Rwanda abahinzi boroze. Ko babakoresha uburyo bwa push pull ni bwiza burafashe. Kongera umusaruro ubu kuri ngemeze neza.